when I go out surfing, immediately I'm not just some isolated individual in my car. I am part of a moving, changing ecosystem. A lot of my life I feel that I'm going from one thing to another. I'm going to check my email, I'm going to check my phone, I'm going to text in a way that draws my mind in many different directions. When I get up in the morning, I go out, I grab my board and I'm walking down the beach and when I hit the sand, something changes for me. Things slow down. Here I am walking across the beach, I'm looking at, at the sun rising, I'm feeling the wind coming out through the canyon. and when I hit the water, all I'm focusing on is the water. All I'm focusing on is exactly where I am at that time. Hunter and I were hanging out at this German bar. A friend of ours came over and said, Hunter, great job at church today. I was like, church? <laughs> you know, Hunter's like this kind of looks like a biker guy. He's got a tattoo of his wife on his arm and he's kind of like tough. And I was like, oh, cool, you're in, you're in a church. And we started talking about it and he invited me to come down and play some mandolin. So I came down and played mandolin and I quickly realized that this was not your grandma's Episcopal church. So and I got, got involved with the community slowly and slowly. Gradually my experience at that inspired me to go back to seminary. And now I am back in the real world working here at that. Surfing is a crucial spiritual practice of mine. By getting out of my car, by getting out of my headspace, and getting into the ocean, I'm putting myself into relationship with the natural world and into relationship with God. We challenge ourselves, we challenge our bodies, and we sacrifice our ability to control everything around us. And in doing so, recognize that we don't we're not in control of everything and when I recognize that I'm connected with nature and connected with other people and I am only a small part of this beautiful creation I am more able to put myself in the shoes of other people more able to love my neighbor than I was before I went out